this was the first time in a long time I played something from like the mainstream AAA sector or whatever you want to call it uh, that really got got under me for a while. It it goes oh so Resident Evil eventually, but for for the most part, yeah, this was a trip. And this this song, for instance, like. I don't think this is here. Uh, the first time you load up the game, you have to like play to a certain point before this intro starts triggering. But this uh, this song just hit me the first time I heard it. Kind of like the uh, "Oh Death" rendition at the beginning of "Until Dawn," if you've ever seen that. Like it's kind of silly in retrospect, but in the moment, it lands pretty much where it needs to land as far as setting the tone um also fun fact it's a song about uh chickens apparently it's an old folk song about like a fox what got in the hen house and so the everybody dead is their chickens double triple check yeah subtitles are on madhouse just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job. There's something about the way they render teeth. It's a weird nitpick. But they really define the lines between teeth. And it just makes me think everybody in this game has spinach stuck between all their teeth. Silly thing, but... Probably completely unintentional, but it adds to, like, the general uncanny feel of what's going on. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. You found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. All right. So I'm going to be bouncing back and forth. My setup is a little odd right now. I'm kind of spread all over the living room from the computer to the TV. So I will be responding to chat when I can on my phone, but I've also got um, a couple of guides i'm following just to be sure for the uh just tracking the, the place uh the files and the antique coins um there are more coins and they are in different places on madhouse there's almost twice as many uh it jumps up from 18 on normal and easy to 33 so we'll be going for all those and i love it's such a short section, but this little run-up before you get to the guest house just does a such a great job of setting the, the tone of, of just rot and filth that you're going to be crawling through for the bulk of this game. Just with the, the Louisiana plant life. Never been to Louisiana. I don't know how, like, accurate this vegetation is, uh, but... Like, 
the bulk the bulk of my my experience with Louisiana is I've seen True Blood, so that made it seem real like grimy and barren and hot and swampy. You know, depending from like you know where you were from one minute to the next. Also, that show is just ridiculous. If you need like terrible popcorn trash of of a TV show, watch watch True Blood. Um. Okay, so our first file, the email from Mia. From Dolby, Louisiana, Baker Farm, come get me. Real short and sweet and to the point. Uh, reacquainting, there we go. Boom. Heh. <laughs> the insects... Also adding to that, that just general hot and sticky and filth. Yum. Yeah, the first time I played this, I just, I had a grand old time with all of the, the carcasses. It was just gross. Like, it's one of those, and, and uh, you know, this game does take its influences from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre pretty, pretty strongly. And uh, so does Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses, if you're familiar with that. Another, another movie heavily influenced by Texas Chainsaw. Um, side note, this item serves no purpose. Like, as far as, like, functional game stuff, it is here to let you know that Mia is, in fact, in the area. Like, but you don't use it for anything. It's probably gonna... I think it just silently disappears from your inventory after you do the guest house. But yeah, I just did the the four hour speed run the other day, and yeah, never had to pick that up. Totally forgot it was even there. Um, but it's a good flavor item. It is a little odd that it just happens to be out here, and has been there for three years. But we're gonna let that go. That is not gonna be the biggest suspension of disbelief we have to do today. So it'll be fine. Okay, let me double check really quick. Okay, there's one coin in the guest house, and it's going to require a few steps. Oh, and you can shut doors manually behind you. This actually comes in really handy on um, Ethan Must Die mode. There are a few areas where you can just zip through a room and then shut the door behind you because... Molded don't know how to open doors. Ah, fuck! Fuck! Ew. So the coin is in this drawer. We need to open that drawer in order to get that coin. And it's a trick that if you played the beginning hour demo. You, uh, it's gonna be familiar. Um, we'll use those cassette tapes later. There's no threat at the moment, so we don't have to worry about saving. Um, but this VHS tape... And we'll come back through here and look at stuff more thoroughly in a bit. So this tape is, uh, taken whole cloth from the beginning hour demo um, introduces you to Clancy uh, another fun thing about the DLC if you play that you get to see lots and lots of sad times for Clancy where did you find this guy give me a break Pete hey I only work with professionals need that lockpick speaking of which make sure the sound is right this time I don't want to repeat of Amarillo 
That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Um, ADR is uh. I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised. My mind went blank on the actual acronym for a second there. Um. We do a walkthrough of the intro Audio first, digital then recording. The intro. Just like we I forget do. the acronym. Just it's for um those who don't know. It is uh, recording well, lines after the fact to match to old footage. Happy? So uh, typically done when um, either you couldn't get a microphone in the moment, or uh, something went wrong and the audio got corrupted or lost. It is a uh, it's a pain in the ass and not preferable. Are we rolling? Now let's go. Get out of the way. It's locked. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever press? What's the press? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. I was way off on the, uh, the acronym. Uh, automated Dialogue Replacement. Sorry, guys, I was Googling How long the thing. How you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. Huh. A lot of bad rumors about their son. Didn't know Lewis. opening the pot like that, um... Bad seat, apparently. Cancels out the, the dialogue. Interesting. Ah, shit! I should have worn my good shoes. See now, if we open oh, this drawer. Glad I had my shot. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Now that we've Andre? opened that drawer in the past in the video, it will be. Uh, Andre! It'll be open in the present Andre! in the real house. Clancy, you see where Andre went? Which, yes, that does in fact violate the laws of causality. Fucking believable. But again, it's we are going to be making much bigger suspensions of disbelief. I mean, producers, they come Though it them. is a bit a of a... Like you, it's a bit of a bittersweet thing, because the, the beginning hour demo featured that... Um, well, it featured the same exact video, and you could do a similar trick with that same drawer... Uh, I believe it was how you got the axe the in the demo. But um, it it led me to believe that there was going to be a more robust mechanic involving the videos and affecting things in the past to, you know, recreate the future, which is a little weird for Andre, Resident Andre, Evil's man. typical tone, but, you know... Capcom does their best work with this property when they're trying new and strange things. This game, for example. Uh, but yeah, that was a thing that I was teased with mostly by myself in my own head. What the hell? There's a secret latch under the fireplace. Alright, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Yeah, the the magic of the video cassettes. Yeah, there's there's some strict because they they play a lot with that. All of the DLC, well, most a good chunk of the DLC, not all, is also done through this like video cassette format. Um, and later on, we see that that's something Lucas is really interested in and is, you, first. you know, kind of a nerd about coming down the ladder. Yeah. So, uh... Real quick to sideline that, we are getting another another one of their little horror movie uh, bona fides kind of moments right over, right over here. 
This is very reminiscent of the closing shot of the original Blair Witch Project. This part, not so much, though. This part, a little bit. So yes, that is to show us that there is, in fact, a switch under that fireplace Jesus. that opens that secret door. But before we carry on... Magic time-traveling open drawer now. The first coin. Which, uh... I guess that's gonna keep after we leave the house, but these are not. Well, we'll see. I don't uh, don't rightly know. There's more than enough coins in Madhouse to open all of the bird cages, unless they massively increase the uh, cost of the bird cages. It's like I said, there's all about twice as many. Plus, I have the dirty coin from the demo. Oh, the audio cassettes will keep. Okay, cool. I'm going to use one of them. Um, I have looked up a few things in preparation for this fight, or for this uh, this run, and um, mostly just checking out, like, okay, so the bosses. I do have the circular saw, um, and that will help on a good chunk of the bosses, but not, not the one at the end of the guest house here so we're definitely going to be saving before we deal with that i will try to make it as quick and painless as possible but i can't promise it'll be you know first try i love this part by the way this was this was the first of two moments in fairly rapid succession that solidified that I was just, this was going to be a game that I was going to fall into. And this one here, crawling through this flooded crawl space area, was just so icky. <laughs> I love it. And everything's bubbling, and there's stuff, and, like, the first handful, like, are just gas pockets or something, and the fact that you got to keep, like, squeezing under the beams, going deeper into the... Ah! And then that happens, like, oh my god, this is so... This is so good. I love this. I love that I feel like I want to take a shower now for a thing I did in a video game. It makes me... I, I uh... So, so few things get me on that, that gut level anymore. I don't think I ever noticed those. I mean, you're meant to think, uh, you know, drug abuse, but, like, knowing knowing the full scope of how this family, you know, fell out, that's probably closer to do with the, uh, the not-umbrella company. They never really, uh, I don't remember. If they explained who was doing the, the bad people experiments on this one, I don't remember. Um, okay, so, files two and three. A long list of names. We see Clancy, L, uh, living, or live, presumably, at the bottom there. Um, <laughs> unfortunate for him. And then if we flip it over, Mia, and then everybody since then. Lots of... Lots of people turned and dead. So the family is, so far, Mia and Clancy are the only ones. And it's kind of, kind of implied that Clancy only is there because Lucas liked playing with him. Um, Lucas is the, again, DLC stuff. Lucas subjects him to just a host of bullshit. All right, list of names front, list of names back. Okay, next files in the main house, next coins. Okay, so we are 
set on collectibles for the guest house. Straight shot. We are yeah. still going to be scouring a little bit because I want to make sure to get as uh, all the health, the healing items, and the uh, the ammo I can find in this area because we are probably going to need them. You. It's me. It's Ethan. Mm -hmm. Uh, Umbrella burns out be here. between three and four, but there is a, there's a no, DLC no, where you play as Chris in the wake of the events here. Who else is here? What the hell's going on? And we need to go. There is there are a handful of throwaway lines about how Umbrella has reformed. And has been restructured into uh, a PMC or a defense contractor. <laughs> and that's who is employing Chris currently, and he's not happy about it. He and his, um, the lady in his earpiece, I don't remember her name, argue about it a bit. And I haven't played Six, so it might feed off of some stuff from Six. I've heard Six is not great. I have in the recent year, in the last year, replayed everything of the main numbered series. Now, some of them were what is this place? Uh, one, two, and three being the remakes, but six is the the numbered exception. I think it's this way. Totally talking over Mia, but uh, she's just spooking us through the through the house. We gotta get out before Daddy comes home. Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. Four is a dumb action movie in a good way. From what I've heard, six is a dumb action movie in a bad way. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, six might be good. Or at least decent. I don't know. I haven't played it. Um, I know it by reputation, and the reputation ain't great. Family used to bring me food through here. I remember... This was another little touch I liked. Um, here, there are better examples later, but just these these little squeeze through narrows, claustrophobic sessions uh, sections. There. Particularly there. Uh, when you're dealing with Marguerite, and there's just like all the bugs, and it's Ridiculous. gross. Like that scene in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Hey, what's down here? It's gone. It's gone! This whole Looking basement area is so much more elaborate than in the in the demo. There's another door. I'm sure of it. Oh! Well, look at that! Ha! Huh. They give the whole game away right here at the beginning. I never saw that. Or maybe I picked it up and didn't, like, acknowledge what it's supposed to be. Yeah, this this photo uh, is spoilers. Here's the game. This is the whole game in a picture. Bam. Neat. We'll see her later. We'll see her fairly soon, actually. I think we gotta trigger it by looking at the dolls. No, there we go. Mia. I'll point it out in about 15 minutes, but this was one of my favorite touches coming up. I mentioned that there were two scenes that like locked me into this game. And uh, the first one being that, that little crawl space, and the second one, we'll be getting to it in a second. 
yeah, this whole basement area is just so much more elaborate than in the demo. I really wish... Like, it's probably fine. In the demo, the basement is the worst part of the damn game. Because you gotta squeeze through a really tight... You gotta squeeze through a really tight passage, and you can't get hit. Like, even if you get hit once, you, the, the, you've, given, you've lost. Um, it's kind of annoying, especially because then you gotta solve, like, a PT puzzle afterwards that is kind of prone to fucking up. And so you've gotta go through this whole process of getting hit, or of, of avoiding getting hit, and then if you... If the puzzle screws up, then you gotta go and start from the beginning. It's... I get what they were doing. They were trying to bank off of PT, and it was fine, and it was fun, but it also, like, could... There, there were some tweaks that could have been made to make it a better experience, I think. So we explore the other side. That triggers this door. And another, like, horror movie flex... Still a cool moment, though. <laughs> Playing a little bit off of uh, Japanese and blue ghosts. But that immediately, like, turns into Don't Stab Me. Uh, this is... Yeah, see, this moment here con like contrasts with... Like, oh, that's... That's gruesome. I can see it going into the hand meat. I don't like it. But then there's a moment coming up where they try exactly the same thing and it falls flat for me. I don't know. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside me. Get... Leave me alone! I know that. I deserve this. Ow. Oh, that always gets me. What the fuck are you, Mia? If you've ever, or if you remember the, um... The Mummy with Brendan Fraser, there's a bit where the, the merchant guy gets one of those scarab bugs into his head and he runs headlong into a wall to try to crush it. And it kills him. Like, similar, just like, I can feel the thud on the forehead and it's not pleasant. <laughs> I don't remember if you have to go to the door first, but just in case. Okay, so. Step one. Supposedly this is really simple. It is just... Let's do it right, though. Attack. Uh, let's try that again. Block. L2 is block, right? The, uh, the medicine stuff... The medicine stuff just seems to be, like, super stitch your flesh back together juice. Like, the, it is implied that the, uh, the bakers are using it, and that's what makes them so immortal. Um, oh, ha, that's why. L1 is block, not L2. That's why I uh, died there. Okay. Okay. Maybe if we back off. Yeah, this is doing good. This is serving us better. Um, this is also making it clear which ending I am going to go for because probably gonna use the other health now nope there we go I mean still gonna use it but it is not time sensitive um 
There are two endings. One of them requires you to do that fight again later uh, in the game, and in a similar circumstance with a melee weapon and without access to your good stuff. It is not the canon ending, apparently, but canon be damned, it's the ending I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Come here. Who's this? Man, what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. Uh, I'm gonna shut Zoe that window. Outside. We got the lawnmower outside. Go there. Now. My neighbor's mowing his lawn. Alright. Knife fight. I mean, axe fight. Definitely pick this axe back up. <laughs> you can walk right past it. Oh, and also... We got and used both up. Oh, no, we have the bolt cutters now. That's what's different. Okay. When you're following your own steps, ask yourself, what's different from the last time I was here? Yeah, the beginning hour demo, there's a whole, um, like, mystery you gotta solve, uh, such as it were, with, like, a little poem full of clues of people dying, and then you get a, a dummy figure, and then you gotta trigger these, these, like, ghost laughs, and then point the dummy finger at certain locations to move through the poem. Hi, Mia. And, um, it is, it's very PT. Like, I bring it up because this bureau is one of the things you gotta point at. I think it's, like, the first thing you point at. And then one of them is you gotta, like, chop this painting with the axe. And this is usually where I would get, like, I had to do it four times before it finally worked, but chopping this painting to get one of the, the chuckles was what kept, um, uh, glitching on me. So, we get the fuse. We put the fuse in the fuse box. And then we can activate the magic electric staircase. It's okay. Oh no, we can't. Okay. Never mind. You know you did. Ow. I love that they let you tug at the fucking screwdriver. It does nothing. Now, let's see how you feel. didn't have subtitles, but unless my ears deceive me, she just said, it's my job, must contain outbreak, I promised her. Also, you can pick up your own hand. Also, also, they, like, made it real shiny. <laughs> it's a shiny hand stump. Gruesome. So, not going to save just yet. I believe I'm going to feel real stupid if this is wrong, but I believe we are safe. 
until we try and climb the ladder in the next room. There we are. I was like, I swear the gun was in there. Yep. Okay. Fine. Uh... So I th I am I am ninety percent sure that this ladder here is what triggers the boss fight. I I have a small trepidation in that there is ammo in that room, and I haven't tested it to see whether or not she will chase me. So if she does, I'm going to have egg on my face. Oh, second first aid medicine. Ain't that handy. Okay, we are good. Now, now we are going to save. We are going to save at the place where we save. And once we get through this fight, we have uh, effectively done about 60% of the worst of the combat, from what I what I understand. There are, are a couple of boss fights that are tricky to deal with, and my my speedrun save is getting overwritten. 23102. Um, there are a couple of tricky boss fights to deal with, but nothing as bad as uh, Mia, from what I understand. Because you have access to all of your full arsenal of nonsense. Now, if you were playing the game legit, uh, then, you know, without any of the, the bonus items or anything, that would be a different story. But. I am not doing that. I am here for collectibles and trophies. Okay. He comes down with chainsaw. Oh, I didn't know uh, if you didn't get out of there quick enough, she could kick the ladder in your face. Check that out. You don't understand. Oh, I, 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 I get it. I should have shut that door. Ah. Oh, my guts. I mean, I did that to show off the really cool bisecting deck. So... I don't know if it's the same. Okay, so when she's running like that, I can't stun her. That's just not a not a viable. Oh, she got me in the back. Okay, so when she's running at me, fucking ditch. Just get out. Can't can't uh, can't stun her with the headshot. Thanks, jerk mannequin. I think this is also on a timer, like, you can, um... You can run her out. I'm not entirely sure. Ah! Oh, never mind. Boxes don't give a shit about chainsaws. Wow, yeah, blocking even obliquely there worked really good. Forget about me. 
Oh, because you grab the... You grab the engine. Okay, that's... That's cool. Alright, so blocking useful. Blocking very useful. Learn that lesson twice the hard way. Ugh. What are you hiding, then? I'm hiding the fact that I don't like being hit with chainsaws. I'm trying. You're making it difficult. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Sweet. I love you too, sweetie. Can't pick up the chainsaw. And now we kill some time. Fun fact, in the demo, this is also the uh, the way out. Um, depending on whether or not you got hit by the molded in the basement, you either get out or turn into a monster. Walkthroughs back up. Come on, don't you die on us now? You have work to do. 